Welcome to another one in our series of Fireside Chats at NodeConf EU. I'm here with Anna Henning Sen, if I got that right? Right. Um, from Nearform. Um, it's great to, to see you again, Anna. We've um, yeah, been at a few to conferences here. together now, um, yeah. and it's lovely to see you again. Um, I was wondering if you could just kick off by just introducing yourself and letting us know what you're working on at the minute. Um, so, so I'm Anna, I work at Neoform uh, in the same, uh, well, in, in James's uh, part of Neoform, which is called Neoform Research. Um, and basically that means I get to work on like cool next generation features for Node.js. Mm -hmm. um, but um, yeah, I think you talked about that with him a bit. Yeah. Uh, th like the short version of what I do is I work on Node. Like yeah. this is uh, pretty accurate and... Uh, but yeah. um, as James said yesterday, he writes the bugs and you fix them all. Well, if he wants, <laughs> if he wants to put it that way. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, and you are definitely an excellent developer. You did something incredibly brave yesterday and did a okay. almost last minute um, live coding demonstration. Um, it was amazing. Uh, could you just say a little bit about that? Because I, I know you've done more with it since then, haven't you? Um, well, so, so one thing like, um, like the schedule change was last minute, but I've done this before and I've prepared this okay. and I've practiced this. Like I'm, I'm not gonna go on stage and do live coding without, without a having practiced it and b having backup code in case it doesn't work. Yeah. Um, like one time this year when I gave this talk, it didn't work, and that was really unfortunate because it's literally just changing like a zero to one or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, so, so, so what I did on stage was to re-implement set timeout for Node.js and and so like the idea of that is kind of like um, so for one it gives a bit of a deep dive into Node internals in a very practical way and the other way is like so it, it I hope it shows a bit that uh, Node.js isn't magic like it um, like it, it is developed by real humans who just write code the way that other developers write their code right. So that, that kind of brings us round to the, the, the reason I wanted to talk to you particularly <laughs> is the, the um, yeah. Code and Learn sessions. So what um, people don't know yet is that you were the very, very kind person who guided me through my first um, Node contribution. Um, so I'm very, very grateful to you for this, but I wanted people to sort of get an idea of what these Code and Learn sessions are about and also see that, end of the day, there's just a developer at the end of the line on, on when you do a pull request. So, so the idea behind these Code and Learn sessions is that we gather a lot of people in a room and we, we basically do a step-by-step -step guide to making their first uh, contribution to Node.js core. Yeah. Um, and so, so that was pretty successful in the past. Like, I'm pretty sure we've had, well, some four-digit number of contributions from these kinds of events, yeah. uh, which is awesome. Uh, but, uh, but so at this point, like, we're not actually sure how code and learns are going to look in the future. Yeah. Um, uh, so for for uh, there, there's a conference next month uh, in Montreal, like the the one by the foundation behind Node.js, and we decided like we're probably not going to do one there. Um, simply because the format is, it's, uh, yeah, it doesn't really work anymore. It's hard to come up with good first contributions. Um, yes. But something that's quite useful about those sessions is not all developers are, are used to um, the, 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 the system of branching, the, no, the taking, sure. running code on their own machine from somebody else's project. So even if it wasn't a contribution to Node, it's something that I would encourage other developers to, to, to look at how, how to do it because Following the steps is is really a good place to start. It is. Um, so, like, and that was our main focus when we did that session yesterday. Um, we we wanted to show people like these are the steps that you need to do to contribute to Node.js. Not necessarily like um, have them make huge contributions to Node.js at like while in that workshop, but rather to like get them used to it. And, and yeah, for a lot of people, their kind of learn pull request that they make is the first open source contribution that they do at all. Yeah. And obviously that is like a particular kind of special uh, contribution. Like, like, like it really gets them started working with other people's code in some cases. And yeah, and it's, it's that sort of just the understanding that they can do it. It's okay yeah, to right. do this. In fact, it's encouraged to do this. Yeah. So you see a problem, you fix a problem. 
Um, it's it's <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's it's a it's that a good is, thing yeah, to know how case, to do yeah. it. <laughs> um, so uh, James was talking a little about um, to me earlier about Quick and how that's coming out soon as well. So there may be some opportunities for people to contribute on that. Do you think? Uh, there's definitely. Uh, we have a lot of open to do issues uh, on the repository for that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I don't know any off the top of my head that would be like particularly good for good first contributions. Um, but yeah, you can always uh, come to talk to James or me about that if if somebody's interested in uh, starting to work on Quick. Um, one slightly unfortunate thing about the Quick code base is that like. Currently, it's a lot of C++ that's being added, yeah. uh, not so much JavaScript. I mean, there's a sizable JavaScript portion, but it might be helpful to have like some basic knowledge in C++ or to be like, to be like, I want to write tests or I'm I'm gonna like try to make this crash and report bugs, which uh, <laughs> shouldn't be too hard <laughs> at this point. But um, it's it's that sort of it's the building of of all of this sort of and and the, including the documentation we're talking yeah. about. People have got skills in all sorts of areas, so maybe they can help out. Yeah, yeah people with uh, documentation documentation skills, but they are definitely helpful for Node.js because, um, because, yeah, writing good documentation is hard, um, and 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 it's easy to forget doing that uh, <laughs> uh, when you're like more focused on on getting the code right and everything. Um, but for example, we have like one contributor, one collaborator at the Node.js repository who's basically doing all documentation only. Mm -hmm. and, and he's reviewing all documentation parts of, of most pull requests um, because he's, yeah, he's just very, very uh, familiar with how things should be and... Um, yeah, because I think that people forget that when you're you're very close to what you're doing as well, sometimes it's hard to write the documentation around it, yeah. not just because... Um, it's a difficult thing to do, but it's because you don't even realize what you're not telling people. So that's why it's <laughs> often good to have somebody who's not associated with it, writing it to, to ask the questions to you, to make you go, oh no, you need yeah. to do it like this. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, and ideally, that is also something that comes up during code review. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, things that might be unclear, because, because the ideal code review is done by somebody who, uh, who understands uh, the pull request, but like, might not actually be super familiar with the subject, so they can you know, give, give feedback on like how the API should look like for somebody who you know doesn't have the time to read up on everything. On yeah, how the documentation should look like. Right. So yeah, it's, it's yeah. that getting that stylistic side of it as well. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I'm going to just ask you a final question, sure. um, and I was going to just ask: You've been contributing to Node now for quite some time. What are you most proud of? Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I kind of threw this one at you, so you can take a second. Yeah, I'm going to take a second. Um, um, so I mean, like, if, if people know me for anything, it's for putting workers into Node.js. But uh, what I'm actually a bit more proud of is the prep work for that. Yeah. Um, because like writing the workers implementation for Node.js is one thing. But actually, having gotten Node.js to a point where that was feasible, yeah. like that was the more exhausting part. Um, and yeah, I'm, I, like this is all internal. It's nothing that people would would uh, see from the outside. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it was a lot of work, and I'm proud of that. And it was really <laughs> worthwhile. So thank yeah. you very much for that, and thank you very much for the chat. Sure. Thank you. Cheers.